Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. In today's video, we're going to be looking at all the wrist rests that I have and hopefully it helps you in your buying decision. So right here we have the Razer wrist rest that comes with the Black Widow Elite. We have the separate Razer wrist rest that they sell separately. We have the Glorious PC Gaming wrist rest. We have the Cool Master W530 wrist rest. We have the HyperX Cool Gel Infused wrist rest. And we have the Kingston Memory Foam Gel wrist rest. So let's begin. So as you can see currently from all the wrist rests, you know, it just depends on what softness means to you, what you're looking for. If you're looking for a cooling gel infused top layer of the wrist rest, if you're looking for a fabric, if you're looking for memory foam, and it also depends on the fabric that they use on top where your wrist actually touches. And if you want sturdiness, if you want the form factor, all these things. So hopefully this video will help you in deciding which one is good for you. Now this one right here is the Razer wrist rest that comes with the Black Widow Elite. It comes with all the Black Widow Elite keyboards. It's leather or pleather on top. It's a nice feeling material, but it's on the thin side because you know it comes with the keyboard. So that's why I opted to get another wrist rest, which is this one, the Razer. They sell this separately. Look how big it is. It's huge. It's super huge. It's like super bigger than this one. Look at, look at it. You can see it right away. This one is softer. I use this for the bottom of my arm because I use this for my wrist and I use this for the bottom of my arm. I like to keep everything razor-ish, you know, like if you have Cool Master or HyperX or whatever you got, you know, you usually tend to try to get everything that's the same company just so it looks, you know, more uniform, more nicer. Uh, so I, like, I got this for the bottom of my arm, no problems whatsoever. That's my current setup. Now I had gotten this one. This is the glorious PC gaming one. You know, I would say I did that review against these two a while ago. And uh, this one is good. It's cheaper than the Razer because, you know, Razer, you're paying premium, right? You're paying premium for the Razer name. This is good. Um, it is foam. And see, I, like I said in the other video, and I'm saying it right now, you press this. You don't feel the foam. It's just a whole uniform foam, no issue whatsoever. This guy, when I press it, I could feel the, the little layers of foam. The, however they made it, I could feel the little pockets, the little the tension of foam. You know what I'm talking about in certain things that you guys own. I could feel it. So it is a bit cheaper in quality, but it gets the job done. No problems whatsoever cool logo look at that guy with the beard it's like santa claus santa claus riding a harley gaming on his pc um but as you can see it feels good it's soft it is i believe the plushest of all but again i guess maybe because the more plush you get the more i can feel it but i can feel it see right now i'm telling you right now i can feel it it's a good wrist rest you can't go wrong again you can't go wrong with any of these wrist rests i guarantee you i'm telling you right now i wouldn't show you something that's crap i just wouldn't do it. it just doesn't make sense this is good but i'm just letting you know what i can feel and i can feel that foam texture that makes sense but the fabric is nice the fabric is really nice i would say the fabric is nicer than the razor even though the razor is a bit sturdier it is more fabric-y, spandex-y material on this guy. But the foam is what you're gonna be feeling. And again, I could feel it with my fingers. I can't feel it when I'm doing this, right? When I'm playing, you can't feel it. But we're doing a compare video, so I gotta tell you the differences. Uh, now this is the Cool Master W530, super soft, flimsy, as you can see in my other video that I did the review, super flimsy. All these have a back, hard back to all of them. This one is the only one that doesn't. And as you can see, super flimsy, but it's soft. Is it softer than these guys? Mm. Again, it all depends on what you think soft is, but on a pure soft, does it feel soft standpoint? I would say the Glorious is softer than this guy. The Razor is softer. <sighs> to be honest with you, even this one, the generic one is softer than the, the Cool Master because there's no hard point. So there is more, you can go down more, but this foam is not memory foam, okay? It's not, it's just a foam, it's just a piece of foam. So there is no memory foam, even this guy, these are soft, plush materials compared to this, I wanna say, just regular rubber foam. 
just to show you guys, just so you guys know what we're looking at here, it doesn't say nothing about memory foam. It's just a standard rubber wrist rest splash proof. Here, let's test this out right now. Now these would absorb water. I'm telling you that for a fact. But let's just add some water. A little bit, not too much. Ah, there you go. Since it's a rubber material, look at that. You see that? The water does not penetrate it. That is a cool feature to have. I mean, if you're spitting, <laughs> if you're sweating, playing, and you sweat, and your arms just, you know, you sweat, and you're, you know, playing with no, you know, sleeve, sleeveless shirt, this would bounce back. Look at that. It does not absorb. It repels water, just like the box says. Splash proof. Well, that is true. And look, you can see, look, it just dries off right away. And again, because there is no fabric, it is all tight sponge material, I would say. So that's the only thing that this wrist, this beats everyone else with the splash proof. But in softness, these are all softer than this one, unfortunately. But hey, it's not expensive. Nice to have. HyperX. This one blew me away, the HyperX wrist rest, nice and sturdy. I would even say sturdier than all of them. It is kind of cool looking, the subtle stitching, as you can see the red stitching. Can you guys see that? Really, really cool. Gel infused, so it is cool to the touch compared to all of them. That is a really nice feature to have. The material is the best against all of them. The spandexy material just glides but I would say this one is more, I would say, you got to take care of it more. It is more prone to ripping, more prone for you touching the gel, and then it messes up everything. This one you got to take care of, but it is nice and hidden, nice dark. You can't even see the HyperX logo. Nice cooling gel, nice softness, nice sturdiness. To be honest with you guys, I could tell you right now, to me, my favorite is the HyperX. I didn't think that. I thought I was going to be like, ah, the razor will destroy everybody like I always, you know. Of my razor products and the guy razor will destroy everybody unfortunately to me right now i'm telling you guys no lie hyper x is the best wrist rest out of all of them this one is a tad too big Let's see if i can i don't know if you guys can see that in the camera it is a tad too big it's about i want to say an inch bigger than the keyboard but it is a large one this one fits it perfectly as you can see I like this guy, this guy more than anyone. I'm telling you guys right now, the HyperX wrist rest with the cooling gel. Cooling gel, softness, sturdiness, fabric material, it's a win. This one beats all of them right now. I am telling you guys that this guy wins, guys. Last but not least, just to, just for kicks, right? I've had this guy for eight years. Be it, I am a really taken care of kind of person with my stuff, I don't know. Looks good as new to me. Looks like the day I bought it. Just a little bit of scuff marks right here. This one is a gel. Okay, as you can see, see how it pushes back? Either it's gel or it's a nice memory foam. I don't know, but this is eight years old. Okay, and if you want gel, 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 this is the best one. Like, this one beats all of them in gel. I mean, this is a budget. I got this eight years ago when I got my other computer. I'm like, I need a wrist rest. Back then, they didn't have any of this stuff. You know, Razer wasn't as pronounced as it is right now. This is eight years ago. This is the Kingston generic PC company. I need to make a wrist rest company version. And this is probably like the office version, okay? Gets the job done. If you need something that's not gaming, this, to be honest, is like more like, you know, you're typing or if you have your mouse, but this guy, I mean, all these links will be in the description below, but if you can't find any of these and you just don't want that squarish look, get this guy. This guy is soft eight years. Look at that. Not a rip, not a tear, nice and soft. And the first day I bought it, I still use this on my other computer. Telling you guys, this one right here, you cannot go wrong. It is soft. Look how plush that is. It is still soft eight years ago. I want to say this will last. I don't know if any of these will last eight years. I doubt it. 
I, I doubt any of these would last eight years like this guy, to be honest with you. But again, guys, here's the video. Here, here, here are all my current wrist rests. I would say HyperX wins hands down. Then I would literally go with the Kingston because it is super, super soft. You cannot go wrong with that quality. Eight years, doesn't lie, eight years. Then I would go with my Razer. Uh, this, you know, this is a generic one. This comes with the keyboard, so I'm not going to even rate this one because it comes with the keyboard. I mean, if you, you could, this would get the job done if you can, you know, get a wrist rest. But again, these are like more supportive wrist rests for me, for my arm. But if you want to throw that out the trash, I would say this is more plush than that. So yes, this would be second. So first, second, well, first, second, third. Then I would go, mm, I would go with the Glorious and then I would go with the Cool Master. Just because the Cool Master is lower quality, no support in the back, and it's not as soft as the Glorious. Again, I keep on saying, I can feel the, the foam. It's if you touch it with your fingers, but you can't feel it with your wrist or your palm, you, you, the, the bottom of your arm, you can't feel it. So not to dock this company down, it's awesome. I mean, I got it. I even have the mouse one. I use, because I like to have everything together. So I got the Glorious wrist pad, and I got the Glorious wrist mouse pad because I'm another computer. I just like to keep things together. Uh, would I buy this again? No. Would I buy this again? Yes, and I will look for the mouse version of this. I believe they make that. I am going to get that because I'm just telling you right now, it's a go. It's a go, it's a buy. You cannot go wrong. It is beautiful to the touch, beautiful to look. Just take care of it because it is not as sturdy as all the other ones. And this guy, they do make the mouse pad for this one too. But again, this is eight years. I don't know if I can find it. I'll see if I can look for it and maybe do another review on that. But again, stick around. I have a whole bunch of keyboards. I got the Huntsman Gears Edition. Got my Black Widow Elite. I got the Razer Sonosa Chroma Pro keyboard with the backlight under the keyboard. And I have an Alienware RGB keyboard, the Elite, not this new Elite uh, for 2019, but I believe the 2017. I'm gonna be trying out all of these wrist pads on the keyboards individually so i'll do a video on each keyboard because i know everyone has different keyboards and you guys could see if any of these make sense to you so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please truly leave a like share comment and subscribe if you have any questions any comments please leave them down below and of course if i can try it and i could show you on a video no problem as long as it helps you thanks guys see you guys next time